What's up everyone, Takedown here, welcome back to another video, and today I'm going to be sharing with you a new journey that I'm going to be getting into, and that is Amazon FBA. Let's get right into this. So I've recently been looking into Amazon FBA, and basically what that is, is I will become an Amazon seller, and all my items are going to be fulfilled by Amazon. So if I was just a normal seller, I would post my stuff on Amazon, it would charge a small fee, and then whenever it gets sold, if a customer comes and purchases them off the Amazon website, then I would be the one that would ship my products straight to the customer. With Amazon FBA, which is Amazon fulfilled by Amazon, basically I take all my products and I will ship them straight to Amazon, and then whenever a product gets sold on Amazon's website, then Amazon will send that product and fulfill it. They will pick and pack and ship it straight to the customer. So it's less hassle for me. But with that, they charge a little bit more of a fee. But with that, there's still profit to be made with Amazon FBA. As long as you purchase the right products and you have the patience and you try to find what works. So since I'm just starting out, it is going to be harder for me to try to find what products will work for me what products will sell better, what products will have more of a profit. And there is certain products as of right now that I've been scanning that are restricted for me, maybe because I'm a new user. And some products are like name brand, like Marvel, Disney, Nerf, products like that are needing to be approved before I can sell them. So by doing that, I either have to get a letter from the company or I have to go and purchase an invoice of over 10 units of that but by buying them off name brand instead of the clearance shelf it's going to cost me a little bit more money but at that point i'd be able to sell them so with this fortunately i'm not going in it alone i am going to be doing it with two co-workers at my job we discussed it and we're deciding to split the costs three ways and then with whatever profit there is we're going to be splitting that three ways that is as well so it's less risk for each of us. All three of us wanted to do it solo anyways, but by us combining it and combining our business as one, we're going to be able to outsource more products because I live farther away. So I'll be able to scout products in my area. They're going to be able to scout products in their area and we're going to be able to combine them, take all the products, ship them all to Amazon. We're going to be splitting all of the costs. And then whenever those products sell on Amazon, we're going to be splitting all of the profits. So we have kind of a business profile of how we want things to be and how much money we're spending a month. We're basically going to be, as of right now, doing $50 each, and that's going to be a total of $150 every two weeks or every month, depending on how it works. Since we're just starting out, we kind of want to taste it and see what works, what doesn't work, what products sell, what products don't sell, and try to go from there. So how we get our products is simple but it is still a hustle it's still a grind we have to try to find those products so number one uh, one thing that we do is retail arbitrage that's one thing we've been starting that's you physically going to stores stores like walmart target uh, buying clearance items items that are reduced price or sale items and with amazon fba there is the amazon seller app so you basically to become a seller you're paying 30 dollars a month to have access to the app and to be able to post stuff on amazon with that 30 dollars a month you have access to their app where you can scan barcodes and it will tell you what your profit will be all you have to input is how much it costs you and it will tell you if there's good profit or not now online arbitrage is something else we're looking into and online arbitrage is basically you're going on websites and going on their clearance tabs or sale tabs and scanning items. You can scan them online. You don't just have to scan the barcodes. You can scan the image. Hopefully, it will show you the right product and it will tell you if there is room for profit. So what we like to do and what we're focusing on is smaller items. The smaller the item, the more we can buy and send in in a box and lighter items so the smaller and lighter it is that's what we're focusing on because the lighter it is the less shipping cost it will be and the smaller it is the less of a shipping cost there will be we're going to be shipping all of our items together um, all in the same box instead of having a few things and shipping them we're going to be trying to ship everything at once all together and that's going to make things a little bit easier 
like I said, for us, our business model right now is going to be we're splitting the cost three ways. That's shipping. That's the cost of the products. And then whenever they sell, we're going to be splitting the profit three ways as well. So that is just a little bit easier for us. That's a little bit more of a weight off our shoulders by splitting it three ways and splitting the profit and splitting the cost three ways. It's less risk for us each individually than if we were to go in and do it on our own and have to pay the full amount for the costs. We would have the full amount for the profit, but it's less of a risk for us if products that we purchase don't sell. It's less of a blow for me individually splitting it three ways with my two friends than to do it on my own. So that's why we're doing it this way. Um, we've been finding a couple products and we haven't shipped anything yet. So the first item that we bought is this dash cam. This dash cam was on clearance for $50 and it should give us a profit of $100. Every item that you sell with Amazon FBA, it's going to charge you a fee. So whenever this sells, Amazon is going to be taking a small fee for fulfilling this and more expensive products are going to be more money. So this is about $10 that Amazon is making off of us, but we're making about $100 profit for this unit. It's not that big anyways. It's not going to take much to ship. So we're going to toss that in the box as well. The next thing that we purchased, this is the next thing that I sourced out, is this Bluetooth speaker. Now these were on clearance for $20. And it should give us about $20 profit each. So I bought three, so that's about $60 profit for these. So that's not too bad for having a couple products that we purchased right off the bat. We're going to be shipping these all together. I bought these two things, these three Bluetooth speakers and this dash cam about a month ago. And the next product that we sourced out in retail arbitrage is this Mastercraft knife. Now this here is... It was on sale for Black Friday for $4. And we're going to have each unit, we're going to have about $8.70 profit. With these here, we bought 20 of them. So each person should be getting around $60 profit on these knives alone, not including the dash cam or the Bluetooth speakers. So these items that we got, it took us a long time. This just these items here, the 20 knives, the three Bluetooth speakers, and the one dash cam, just to find that stuff, was about a month of searching, going to retail stores, scanning hundreds of items, and finding what we decided to go for. So there is a couple other things that we're going to be looking at in the future, but this is going to be our first shipment. 20 knives, three Bluetooth speakers, one dash cam. The next step for us is to ship all this stuff to Amazon post it on Amazon and wait to see what sells. So this is going to be the first video that I'm sharing with you guys talking about Amazon FBA, talking about retail arbitrage, online arbitrage. There's a couple things we're looking on online right now, liquidation centers and other reduced items that are basically reduced price that are going to give us a little bit more of a profit. And we're going to have to see what we want to narrow down on and purchase because we want to try to get as much profit as we can, especially as we're just now getting into the holiday season. In my opinion, we're kind of starting late, but at least right now, since it's holiday season, these knives here alone were on Black Friday. We're going to be able to find more deals like this in stores and then flip it and sell it on Amazon for profit. So one good thing about Amazon FBA or Amazon selling on Amazon to begin with is people don't necessarily look to see what things are at different locations near them and what's on sale on stores. Some people just go on Amazon, purchase items because it gets shipped right to them and they want that ease. So, but another thing we're gonna be getting into one of our niches that we want to try to dive into that might be easier sells are gonna to be toys, kids toys. So I'm gonna be sharing that with you guys in the future of what else we're gonna be doing with Amazon FBA how we're doing. Once we ship this stuff off to Amazon, I'm going to be sharing with you guys what sells, what doesn't sell. I'm going to be sharing with you guys how to ship uh, your items to Amazon, how to post it on Amazon, and anything else along the way. So we are just starting out too. I know a lot of people are starting out and most people that are going to be watching this video are people that are starting out Amazon FBA, have a lot of questions and want to know what to do, where to outsource products, what's products to look into and we're going to be trying at least me I'm going to be trying to help you guys along the way with the help of my channel and share this journey 
with you. So you're not alone. We're just starting out too, so we can bounce ideas off and try to help each other with Amazon FBA. Amazon FBA is something that, in my opinion, anybody can do. Uh, you just have to have the hustle. You have to have the grind. You have to want to do it. You have to put in the efforts to make profits. You can't just do the minimal work and expect Amazon to give you profit. You have to outsource. You have to find your products that you want to sell on Amazon and products that are going to give you the most profits and work hard, find those products, post them, ship them, sell them. So it is a hustle. It is something I've had the mindset, a business mindset for a while now. You guys know that because I've talked about it with my online store, with my t-shirt store, uh, with other things like that before. I sell on eBay right now. So this is going to be another outlook for me. So I hope you guys are interested in seeing what happens in the future. I'm going to update you guys in the future. And if you guys have any questions on Amazon FBA, comment them down below. And I'll try to see what I can do to help answer any questions you guys have. Or if there's anything that I find out along the way, if you have questions for it, and if I have the answer for it, I will share that in a future video. So I'm going to leave this video here. I just wanted to explain that we're getting into Amazon, share a couple of the products that we're purchasing, what our profit margin is for these products, so you guys know kind of what to look for, uh, what to do with Amazon, with the app. Anything you scan, it will tell you the profit. Profit. It will tell you what it sells on Amazon. It will tell you what Amazon's fees are. It won't tell you the shipping, but if you ship everything together, that's going to be a lower cost for your shipping anyways, and that's what I suggest to do. Hope you guys did enjoy this first look into Amazon FBA. I'm going to be continuing this series in the future and try to help you guys out as much as I can with Amazon FBA while we are doing this journey ourselves. So hope you guys enjoy. Please take care. Peace.